The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thank you, DigiKey, for making this happen. Every single week, Lady Ada uses the power of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things that you need on digikey.com. Searching for parts is an art. It's a skill. It's a thing. Lady Ada, what are you looking for this week? Okay, so um, one thing I did this week is I've been trying to get some of these boards that have, like, very discontinued, unavailable part shortage things on there. And the Feather Sense was one of the ones that was really... Um, challenging because it had so many sensors on it and all of them were from different companies and they were all unavailable. But um, a lot of them came back into availability recently. I wanted to get this design back into the shop. And so the part that was, and you know, in the, on the great search, we actually covered um, like getting the list 3MDL, getting a replacement and some other components and crystals and neopixels. The part that I want to try to replace uh, today is this one. So this was the LSM. Um, Ooh, LSM 6DS33, which is a um, IMU. It's a triple axis accelerometer gyroscope. And uh, this is obsolete and no longer manufactured. And they recommend, DigiKey recommends a alternative, but you know, um, it's always good to like search on your own just in case if there's something you want that's a little bit different. So, um, sorry, I was zoomed in so much. Um, obsolete, totally unavailable. Uh, so gyro accelerometer. So the only thing is with this gyro accelerometer is like, I know just cause if you go to, uh, LSM 60 S 33, um, I mean, I used to stock it. So let's look at the discontinued ones. I right, discontinued. Um, so this was a, da, 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 da. Uh, 16G, 2 to 16G, and 125 to 2000 DPS, I2 or SPI. I only really used I2, to be honest. Um, and then, like, you know, double tap, tap, detection, free fall. But it was very basic. To be honest, it was a very basic IMU because it, the feather sense and the clue was, wasn't meant to be, like, a commercial drone or, you know, um, VR helmet type thing. It was, like, I just kind of want to do some basic sensing of, of location. So I went with a very inexpensive um, uh, sensor. Um, so, like I said, we we searched for uh, nine DOF IMU replacements and uh, magnetometer replacements. Um, the suggestion here is the LSM six DSO, but let's let's see. There there might be other options. So what we want is um, well, let's just go to IMUs and we'll just search because I mean we don't want ST. So let's go to stacking. Okay, so we're gonna look for active. Important, because I'm not, I'm not going to do that again. And then I want uh, surface mount. So I'm just gonna skip over chassis mount. Normally stocking, which already cuts out, because again, so many chips were discontinued. And then um, what do I want? Barometric pressure sensor? No, but that's kind of nuts that they have that built in. Accelerometer and gyroscope. And I don't want with a magnetometer, that's a 9 DOF. I want a 6 DOF. Accelerometer, gyroscope. With or without temperature, I don't want a magnetometer. Um, I want it to have I squared C and SPI. Some have I 3C as well. Good for them. Looks like we've got 31 options. Okay, so Bosch, ST, TDK, and Worth. Like totally what we expected. So there is a bunch of that, you know, that one that they suggested, the LSM 6DSO TSR. And so I was like, well, let's just sort by, by price. And there's a couple of options. Um, what's nice is that the prices are like reasonable again. Like, having seen for like a while there, it was like $100 for like a six DOF sensor. It was kind of nuts. They're back down to two bucks. So the question is, which do I want? Um, so I'm you know, I'll say honestly, in this particular case, because I'm replacing an existing component and the component is the LSM 60S family, I'm going to go with that same family. Um, if I was starting over with a new design, I might be like, hey, you know what, let's change and go to the Bosch sensor. But I'm I'm a little bit like I, I'm already doing enough work. I want to replace it with something that's the same family. So I picked ST to pick only the ST components. So now the only thing is the, I'm a little, like, I actually was like, wait, there's the 6DSM TR. TR means tape and reel, so you can actually kind of ignore the TR part. There's the LSM 6DSM, DSL, DSO, DSR, DSO32, DSV for very nice magnetometer. I don't know. 
Um, and then I was kind of like, there's way too many of these. I need help to know. And then the D DSR X. Um, so, I, I, you know, I sort these by price. So in general, it's probably going to be lower quality or higher quality. But, and what is nice is I'll say, you know, I'm going to get it. Just, I've already did this research. They're all pin compatible. They all use the exact same pin out. Thankfully, ST picked, they picked this like two by three, like rectangular shape. And they put the pins always in the same locations. Um, they did that after the, the DS33. So all of these are going to be um, pin compatible. So, you know, I could swap between them, but I really, I want to pick one if I can. So, um, you know, I was kind of Googling to try to figure out what the what the deal is. I'll, I'll be honest, it's a little, a little unclear. Some of them are a little, you know, they, they explain like, okay, this one is designed for camera stabilization. Not that it matters. Um, so let's go to, I'll show you how I kind of like figured out what's up. So I go to the inertial module, which is the entire family, and this is on the st.com website. And then there's like a bazillion pop-ups. And then product selector. I'm going to shrink this down. Okay. Uh, product selector. And then what I did is I was like, well, I know that the angular rate I wanted to have was, uh, you know, to 2000. Because remember, that was the, at the bottom here. I only need up to 2,000. You're going to pay for more and more, so I don't want it to be more than 2,000. And the accelerometer, I don't want it to be more than 16. And so I think this filtered it. So now I only have 12 options. And you do see, like, DSM, DSO, DSL. So then I kind of looking at the table. I was like, well, what's, oh my God, it's like, I'm unending toast. There is um, some power mode changes, but the real thing that you're going to spend, and I'll tell you another thing, you can't, you can't sort by price here. What you can do is sort by noise density. And that's actually going to be the same as the price. Because the thing that is what makes these accelerometer dryers expensive first off accelerometers cost like nothing accelerometers are very inexpensive for the most part They've, this has been figured out um you know mems accelerometers not that they're there's, there's some that are a little bit better they might have better filtering but the the te technology is kind of well established and the quality is kind of well established gyroscopes what you're going to deal with is is noisiness and drift because that's the thing that's going to introduce the most error into your calculations when you're doing like nine off, you know, um, attitude calculations or uh, absolute orientation calculations. And so the higher the noise density, like the more you're going to see like wiggle and drift as things like start kind of moving when they should be moving, even when they're still. And you can tell, and I know, I know, for example, for a fact that the DS3TR is the least expensive of all these not surprising it's going to have the highest noise density and then the lower you know the ism series we stock this one it's a very very nice accelerometer gyro it's going to be lower it's like you know significantly lower it's like 30 percent less than the um ds3tr and then from then on it's like the dsl is next and the m is next so you know although they're very similar they only go down by like five each one the dso and the dsox which we stock they're kind of nice down at 70. Um, but the but you start paying much, much more. Like the, the price increase, even though it goes down only by five micro G for, uh, for square root hertz, um, it is going to be, uh, it's going to be significantly more expensive. And so I want to get uh, the 3TR, the DSL or, or the SM. And then if you go back down here, you see, yes, the SM and the S l are basically the same price the sm is actually a little bit less expensive um and that's actually kind of nice uh, because it also is a little bit higher quality if you see here it's 75 instead of 80 but otherwise it's the same power and the same current consumption so i think the m which they have 40,000 stock is the winner this is a nice one um about two bucks in quantity. 
the board does need to be redesigned to handle this new two by three pinout. But here's the good news. On the off chance that the M is suddenly unavailable, I can swap to the L. It's a firmware change only. And then, you know, maybe you don't promise more than the L model performance and then they get the M, and then it's higher quality and uh, a little less expensive. So this is my pick for the great search. That's the great search.